Hey guys, how's it going? All right, as you guys would have uh, known by now, if you've been following the channel, is I had a problem with my audio system, which I probably, probably not, I don't know, diagnosed incorrectly as an issue with the uh, the power amplifier. Okay, the power amplifier was sent off to um, a gentleman in New Jersey and I got it back about a week later, installed it, and I still have a problem. And of course, the problem I was having was that I had no sound in the right uh, mid-range speakers, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a set, uh, another diagnostic, what I'm going to do this time, which I didn't do before, and I probably should have, um, I should have swapped the speakers over because the left side works perfectly fine. So I'm going to physically remove the speakers or one of the speakers from the left side and uh, swap it over with the one on, on the right and see if that um, brings you know you know any anything else to the table what we want is an eight millimeter socket okay with a handle and we want to remove these here I'll leave this one here because it's suspended by this eh Now you could use a Torx head on this, but uh, I don't want to go fishing around for my Torx head right now. I don't really need to. So the eight millimeter does just as good. Okay. So before we do anything else, what we want to do is to unplug this speaker really quickly. Okay. Let's go ahead. The clip is right here. And it shouldn't be difficult. There we go. Now, with one hand holding the speaker, we'll go ahead and remove the top bolt. Okay, they're all identical, folks, uh, so no need to necessarily remember which one goes where. They're all the same. Okay, and there we have it. Now, some of you might be wondering, why is it that I don't unplug the speaker before I do this? Now, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure <coughs> the cost of repairing one of these wires is far cheaper than replacing one of these speakers. So just in case something happens, I can have that as like a little support. Um, just in case anything happens. It's just me. It shouldn't really matter one way or the other. Voila. Okay, so here we have the speaker from the right side. So let's just go ahead and plug it in. Okay. Let's try this.
Okay, guys. Yeah. So, I've diagnosed the problem as the speakers. So I spent $117 plus shipping to get that repaired and the problem was right here. But in any event, I don't consider it a loss because um, according to the YouTube seller, what he did or what they, the service they provide is basically remanufacturing. So the weak parts of the Bose amplifier they replace with more robust units. So I'm thinking at this point I may have a more uh, durable amplifier right now. So it's just strange folks that both the front and rear uh, door speakers went at the same time. What are the odds of that happening? What can I say? My stupidity. Yeah, it's your gain because now you know now you've got the chance to see how you know how to remove it if your your uh, your remove the amp if yours goes bad. Um, thanks for watching, guys. You be safe out there. If you look here on the rear of the speaker, you will see uh, some tabs. Okay, and these tabs enable the speaker to be fit inside the door in one way okay so um, <clears throat> it's just a matter of figuring it out it's not difficult um, just like that okay it's aligned and everything so what I it will stay in place see it will stay in place so you know you can just rest it here and you know just run one of the bolts in Be careful not to stab the the uh, the speaker in any way, okay? Because that's an expensive mistake, okay? And then we can just go right ahead around it and uh, and screw them in. And they're all the same, so and there's no need to cross uh, cross bolt or anything like that. It's not holding that much much uh, tension or anything. get them in there nice and snug. Don't over tighten because this is all plastic folks. And I think this is some uh, composite resin.